Uh, this, uh, in this session, I'm going to cover uh, social media, why I decided to pick the topic. Let me share my screen in a second. In fact, when this whole thing with the lockdowns and quarantine started, uh, we were thinking, what is it that we are going to do? Because, you know, we will not be able to meet in person. And we thought that life is going to be very sad. Um, so, um, but we, we decided uh, in a small group of people actually uh, with my friend Jenny, who many of you know, and then we got a couple of other people helping us and we started a little online show. And in order, because that online show never existed before, it was not a Stokes Master Club. So we had to look for different ways how to promote it. And clearly, because everything was online, uh, the good way to promote to were social media. And as uh, I was uh, getting active in that, I really took a couple of lessons, which I believe are extremely useful also for us when we are in Toastmasters. And you can use these both for your uh, activities in your, in your areas, in your divisions, as well as in your clubs. And you can both put them to practice yourselves, or you can invite or you can ask someone to help out. And you can, uh, you can get someone to do these things for you. But I believe that every single district officer should have a general understanding how to promote their activities on social media effectively. So today, we're going to talk about upping your social media game. Now, this is, the, this is the event that we ran. It was called Storyteller Sundays, and we were meeting every, uh, every Sunday at 7 p.m. And we really you know, were posting some different kinds of content. And as you can see, uh, it, really got some, uh, it really got some significant amount of engagements, and uh, people were actively sharing these things. So this is what I will base the workshop today on. It's going to be practical, and I'm going to show you a couple of tools that you will be able to use. And I would also like to keep it as discussion. So whenever you have a question, I do not have, I cannot read chat while I'm talking, but whenever you have a question, feel free to unmute yourself, ask yourself a question. And if we have time, I will answer right away. And if not, uh, you can keep, well, I will just say that we need to move further, but feel free to write these questions down and I'll be happy to cover uh, and discuss that with you afterwards, okay? All right, so, but first of all, why social media? Why in those masters we should even bother, you know, trying to promote our clubs? And the reason is, and here you can see it, this is the, this is the mission of, uh, of Toastmasters International as an organization. Now, in order for us to be able to empower individuals to become more effective communicators and leaders, uh, these people who are, for the moment, normal people, who are not Toastmasters yet, <laughs> they, they need to find a way, they have to find out about it, right? So they, some way, in some way, we need to explain to them, okay, if you come to a Toastmasters club, this is what's going to happen to you. This is how that's going to be useful to you. And therefore, come over and join us in the meeting. Now, when we are active with our social media channels, this is a very important question to ask. When your club's uh, vice president of public relations or when your division's vice president of public relations or even when you are the district public relations manager, Isabella, when you're posting, who are you really posting for? Who is the audience? Who do we have in mind? And if we oversimplify, we can divide the audience into two groups. We've got other Toastmasters, particularly in case of the district Facebook pages, this might be the case. And clearly, people who already are Toastmasters, there is a lot of background information they understand. You don't need to explain the structure of the meeting because it's similar across the whole world. You do not need to explain what pathways are because over the past three years, we've really made sure even that all these members of Toastmasters understand well what pathways are. And you just communicate, you, you don't even need to communicate why Toastmasters is so beneficial because all these people, they already know. So when communicating that, and so to them in social media, you can assume, you can assume that they are actually interested in Toastmasters. But then, there's the other group, 
I call them the normal people. Now, this, I mean, it is a little bit funny to call them like that, but for you, it's important that, you know, we realize that everyone on this call is a little bit weird. <laughs> it's, it's not that, you know, you just accidentally decided that you're going to spend hours and hours every week volunteering for some organization, investing your time or putting, giving your time away for free, but you're doing it for many years over now. Each person in this call has already been a club officer, maybe at least one, two, or maybe even three years. Some people on the call have been district officers for many years. Now, this is important because when we are composing messages for the people who are normal people, who are not people like us, it's important to try to think about, okay, now what would these people like to see on social media? What would catch their interest? In? What content would catch their interest? Because very often, and I can see even many clubs on social media, how they are posting, they are really posting more like for themselves, not for, the, not for well, the people from the outside, whom we certainly do want to attract. So the question is, first of all, we need to ask ourselves, okay, what is it that we want to tell them? What is it that, what is the conversation we want to create with those people? And I think very often, uh, if we do not think about it, we suffer a little bit from the so-called selfie syndrome. Now, I, I don't know, I, I follow, I mean, I have most of you on Facebook already, so I know each of you, how much each of you likes taking selfies and posting them, some of you more and some of you less. But sometimes with Toastmasters, we have this selfie syndrome that we are posting about things that are about us and not that much about our audience. Now, there's nothing wrong with what I'm showing here in this picture. Uh, it's a group, uh, it's a, I just took a screenshot from the Slovensky Toastmasters Facebook page and you can see they are uh, some happy people having a good time. It's a, it's a Zoom picture from the meeting. And I mean, that it's okay, it's fine. However, if I look at the Facebook page of Slovensky Toastmasters, everything I see are either pictures of people on Zoom on a meeting, which, you know, whether you want it or not, they look kind of all the same, don't you think? And the other thing we can see there, some diplomas for people who won the best improviser of the evening, which again, it is nice, but imagine I am now like a person who is considering five different options how to improve their communication skills, how to improve their leadership. And I stumble upon a Facebook page of, you know, some, some club. And on that club, I can see pictures of people on Zoom and I can see some, some diplomas for people. Would that be something that would convince me like, hmm, this is interesting. Or maybe the alternative would be to think about whether in the club Facebook pages or different Facebook pages, we can maybe post some content that is relevant to public speaking. Some content that would be interesting even for somebody who's never heard about Toastmasters before. The first thing to think about, what content would normal people like to see on our social media? And tips and tricks how to do <clears throat> how to do presentations or some useful advices for those who are not in the community. Exactly. For for example, that might be that might be one of these things for things for suggesting. Now, what how exactly to go about this? And I just pointed out five different challenges that we have when we are trying to put things on social media. Some of them might be so will take more time, uh, which we will not have time to cover now, but I just like to introduce you five different, let's say, challenges and answer to these challenges that you can start using from now on that will indeed make your life more simple. Number one, where to take content. Number two, how to keep the content pretty. Number three, how to add a bit of spark to it. Number four, how to add urgency, how to grab the people when they are on social media. And number five, how to remain sane while you're trying to juggle all your social media channels and all your social media posts and not become a social media addict yourself. Okay, number one. 
speaking about the content, the one way how you can get content is you can pray for it. And that doesn't work. You can meditate and you can try to wait for enlightenment about a sign from above. It's possible, but not definite. So two alternatives I'm suggesting. It doesn't need to be done only on the club level. It can be done even on the level of a division or of a district. But think about where are use, where is useful information about how you can build up your communication skills or how you can build up your presentations. Having a look at a book or blogs about presentation skills, having a look at maybe YouTube channels about presentation skills, adding it to it a little bit, something from your own site, maybe adding a little bit of your experience and then sharing that on your social media channels. It just simply proves that when somebody enters that Facebook page, let's say, and I say, okay, these guys, they really talk public speaking. They are not just people who take selfies on Zoom every week. Now, this still requires some additional effort. So then there is an alternative. Now, the, the text that you can see right now on the screen is in Czech. So I think it's like three or four people on this call who can actually read it. But let me summarize it for you. It's a lady from Texas who, by coincidence, is originally from the Czech Republic who after one of the storytellers Sunday evenings sent me a message and said, hi, Lucas, I'm a PR of our district and I have been doing training for our PRs. Would you please, please record a short video telling us about your experience from moving online? I said, well, thanks for remembering. By when do you need it? And she sent me a Dropbox link. So she basically invested like five minutes of her life and after that, she got from me a three minute video because guess what? Because I actually had, I felt I had something to say. I wanted to be seen all over the ocean in Texas. And I recorded the video, three minutes of content covering the part, you know, what were the advantages or how we dealt with moving everything online. You can do exactly the same thing. It does not need to be only about those masters, right? I believe there are many people in your uh, geography that have something to say to the topic of communication. Now, why not reach out to them? Ask them, could you record a two or three minute video on this and this topic? You can then post it, you can then share it and have interesting piece of content for your social media. Number two, prettiness. This is interesting because uh, making social media posts pretty uh, is now not as difficult as before. Before you would need to be a designer or at least rather skilled in PowerPoint or at least pay for PowerPoint. Now that is extremely simple. All you need to do, and now I'll just show a little practical demonstration. Many of you, I believe, heard about it through Canva, but I don't know how many of you did actually try to use it practically in the past. So I'm just going to give you a small flavor. Actually, only I just created the first thing in Canva just during the quarantine, just because I need it. I just wanted to give you a touch and show you that is extremely simple. Okay, this is just a very simple slide, but how long would it take to create such slide for a social media post? Actually, it does not really take that long. Let me give you a live demonstration. Okay, I open my social media workshop folder. I move Mr. Incoming Club Grow Director over here. Uh, his his t-shirt is nicely matching with the former background. That is excellent. Okay, I'll send him to wow, I'll send him to back. This lady has blue hair. I don't trust such people. Okay, let's move him here. Great. Mr. District Director, well, this guy with, uh, I don't know where these kind of people put their, uh, put their stock pictures, but these look pretty strange. Okay, now we got Mr. District Director. Well, maybe he'll be fitting here better, right? All right, let's send him to back. Let's take this lady away because she's not a Toastmaster. Okay, and the last one, we're still missing Mr. Gilia. There we go. Okay, and then we have him. 
Fantastic. Amazing Mystic Trio. We'll never forget. June 30th. Now, the one more thing that you want to do, maybe you just want to change the colors. So let's change the Toastmaster colors, which I put there before. Ta-da. And look at that. Post ready in those mouse colors, three beautiful, three beautiful district to your members in less than two minutes. Making social media posts pretty really takes zero time and zero skill whatsoever. Okay, I'll pause there. Any questions to usage of Canva for making your social media posts pretty? And just to clarify, you are using the free version, right? Correct, this is completely free version, yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, thanks for asking. Other questions? All right, and again, I mean, you can always say that there is another PR person doing it, but I just think it will make your life so much more simple when, when you need it, you can just immediately put a couple of things together in Canva and post it right away, because otherwise you know how it works, right? You send to your PR person, that PR person responds to your email one day later, you wait another five days and nothing ever happens. So uh, try to get a little bit adept at Canva. Next, adding a little bit of spark. Now, uh, I hope that Mr. Andre Borzik will forgive me because I will use the Prague Speakers Facebook page as a little, um, as a little example for something, for something where there is room for improvement. So now I'm sharing the Prague Speakers Facebook page and I will really share my screen because I want to share sound with you. So bear with me, give me, uh, give me a minute. Okay, share computer sound, screen number two. There we go, okay. So here we got videos and this one is extremely cool. I watched it, this is Andre after he received, after he won the district championship. This one is extremely cool. But there are also some other videos. Now imagine that you're a person who for the first time comes to a Toastmaster Club Facebook page. That person never heard about, you know, what is Toastmasters? And then they say, okay, so they're saying they're doing public speaking. Okay, let's see what's really, what's really happening here. Yeah, and then they put the video. Okay, now, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's not particularly exciting, is it? I mean, there is the music is a little bit strange. There are photos with low quality and there is nothing much really happening in the video. Now, as just as an alternative, uh, I will just show one of the videos that we did for the Storyteller Sundays, which is, again, it was like amateurishly put together but just gives a little bit different flavor. Just can you just give me thumbs up if you heard the sound? Did you hear the sound in the previous video? Okay, you did, all right. Let me show you, okay, let me show you another video. Okay, we do not need to go too much further, but the thing is that this video is, well, it's, it's actually, it's a real video, the real pieces of video, and it's something that, let's say, raises interest, something is happening. And if you feel like you do not need to record video movies, you can just record maybe short interview from your club, or you can maybe create different, another story, you can maybe explain some public speaking technique. 
Now, the objections that you might have is, well, first of all, okay, but where do I get music for the video, right? Because you have these like Facebook free music, which are not that particularly exciting, or you can go for something illegal, which then Facebook will take down. Actually, one thing that I discovered that I find brilliant is this, there's many different options for so-called stock music. The one that I was using for Storyteller Sundays was Envato Elements. And then you pay monthly fee of $25. And you can then, you have unlimited amount of downloads for music that you need to prepare for preparing your videos. And you can serve by genres. So for example, if you like hip hop, you search for hip hop in music and you can play some hip hop. Well, let's have a look what we have here. Okay, there we get some hip hop. Now, maybe not, maybe not all of you are hip hop fans. So maybe you just want to look for something heavy. That you can do as well. And what I found particularly fascinating that there's also something that has stock video. You can actually download footage of video that you can then add to videos of your own. Let's find someone evil, okay? So find evil and you can actually find evil items in the stock video. You can find a really evil guy who's really extremely angry whom you can add to your videos about public speaking. Now, isn't he cute? I believe he is particularly cute. And you might say, okay, but $30, that's quite a lot. On the other hand, that means if you have 30 members in your club, or if you have 15 members in your club, just increasing the membership fee by $2 for each member, and suddenly your possibilities for social media will be significantly, significantly expanded. So this way, by using some stock footage and for music and video, you can add a little bit of spark to your social media. You can start creating videos of your own. I will pause here if there are any more questions to adding spark to your social media. Lucas, you said it's $30 per month, but do you also have to pay every time you download a video? Uh -huh. No. Uh, so it's like, it's the same, for example, like Spotify, but Spotify is for you listening, but you just pay for the services for the access. That, but once you pay $30 per month, you can download and use everything. You just need to register for which projects you are using. But you don't need to pay extra for the videos that you download or use. Lukash, I have a question here. Uh, is yes. it uh, possible to share the account or is it only like individual? Yes. Um, so it's based on license, licensing, so it's individual. So then the idea is, for example, on division level, you would have one person who is creating the videos. Well, the thing is, most likely, you know, it will not be that everybody will have the skill to produce videos anyway. But you will just concentrate on one person who will be creating these videos. And to this person, you will give, uh, you will give that license. But would it make sense to have like one license for, I don't know, for uh, area or one license for division? And in this case, we can yeah. just share the logins for every uh, VPPR in the division. This, this Correct. Was my definitely. Answer. I think we can, we can leave that one for discussion afterwards, how to, how to split and how to organize the work. Just one thing I wanted to highlight, the Storyteller Sundays, we were doing it just two people. We were doing like completely everything besides hosting the events when we had like time to time other people helping us out. But you know, it's not like particularly uh, demanding on manpower. Uh, if once there is a person who just enjoys, who enjoys doing that. Okay, one more thing, how to add urgency to your social media, how to make people go for it, I think now. I'm not going to tell you anything shocking. If you go Facebook Live, it will just pop up on people's Facebook if they are following your page, if they like your page, and they'll be able to join right away. Now, the interesting thing is it's so few, so few clubs in our district are actually doing that, even though it's that simple. What you need to do is you just need to go to your Zoom settings on the web page. You need to go to settings. You need to search allow live streaming meetings or just search for live. And you can, you need to switch it on here. And you just mark Facebook. I think that's, I think that's enough. We actually never used live on any other channel. 
and then you in zoom you will have the settings when you're the host of the meeting you click live on facebook and ta-da and besides you going live in that very moment it will immediately create a recording of your video that you'll be able to watch afterwards but again probably you've seen this uh, already during the district conference now the very last one if you'll be really juggling social media how to stay sane how not to go crazy about it checking your phone five times a day so that you can upload a new post luckily there is a tool for that and the tool is called the tool is called hootsuit let me show that to you it's got this icon of an owl and right now you can see my social media stream i got here instagram facebook oh, look at this handsome guy here mm. all right so i got twitter now this is not the particularly interesting part but what's extremely exciting is the publisher because what you're doing here here you get a calendar and here in the calendar you can actually see posts that you have scheduled to be posted in the future and what i found particularly magical is that you can uh, post to different to various social media channels at the same time so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to schedule a post that uh, we're going to post in the afternoon for storyteller sundays and it's going to be a post by our past district director, Case Bros. Okay, this is already in the past. Okay, I cannot post in the past, obviously. Who would have said that? Okay, so let me schedule it for let me schedule it for uh, Sunday. So I'm going to start a new post. To open this window. Now this Jenny already prepared in Canva quotes that we're going to post on Instagram. I'm going to pick to share on Storyteller Sunday's Instagram channel, on Storyteller Sunday's Facebook page. Okay, these are the two, you can see them over here. I, I, I think now I don't have really time to think about something smart, but I just say never panic. And ladies and gentlemen, there we go. I will schedule a post that will post to two different social media and it will post tomorrow. Now, of course, normally what I would do, I would sit down for 20 minutes. I would schedule a post for the whole next week, two posts every day, and that would be it. And truly, really with this tool, it doesn't really matter whether you're managing district page or division Facebook page or a page for your district or division conference. This will allow you to create the engagement that people who come to your page will see that every day there is something happening, that the page is alive. And it's really worth to become a member of that community because these people are serious about communication and leadership. I'll pause there and ask if there are any questions about the Hootsuit tool. In Hootsuit, as I remember, you can collaborate with other people. So you can look at each other's posts if necessary and give ideas mm -hmm. yes so the basic license and that license again costs about 30 dollars. you have 30 day trial for free to test it out whether you know whether it does the trick for you or not and there are many other tools right i'm just showing what i was using because i have practical experience with it but maybe you can find something different it's not the only tool in the world um, in Hootsuite specifically, you can go for individual license or you can go for a team license when the, you have people from different accounts, you can sign it and then you can, you can collaborate, edit each other's posts and so on. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Other question? We got last minute for this training. So where to begin? What do you need to do next? I suggest you yourselves check out the tools so that you know what the possibilities are because really now you have full year ahead of you this can make a big difference check out the competition check out what already other districts divisions areas as well as other organizations maybe tedx maybe uh, maybe global doctors what they are using in their social media to get some inspiration think of your audience what they would like to see Get the social media to your person. Unless you want to be the social media enthusiast, find one person who will do that for you. And if you'd like to know more, if you'd like to get training, if you'd like to, if you have any more questions about how to use it, I really, let's say, it became my quarantine hobby. So I'll be happy to talk more about that anytime. Thank you.
and back to the city director.